In our laboratory, we've been interested for some time in how the cerebral cortex works and what makes us intelligent. Over the years, our investigations have led us to a hypothesis about what events happen when we perceive things in the world. And we came to this study with a prediction about what we expected to happen in the brain that we could test in a mouse. It's not easy to test perception in an animal because you can't talk to it. One common approach is to test the so-called perceptual threshold. You're doing it right now. This is a test where you increase the strength of the stimulus until you, or the animal in our experiments, perceives the object. It's also a historically fundamental way to measure sensory perception that's often been used in human studies. We still don't know what happens in the brain when you go from not perceiving to perception. To study the perceptual threshold, we used mice in our studies, and of course rodents mostly use their whiskers like we use hands. The cerebral cortex is made up mostly of tall cells that look a bit like trees. In fact, the extensions coming out of the cell bodies are called dendrites. That's ancient Greek for trees. We've been studying their properties and hypothesize that a hot spot in the dendrite might be activated around the perceptual threshold. To look at this, we stimulated the whiskers of the mouse while using a genetic technique that allowed us to visualize dendritic activity under a two-photon microscope that can look into the brain in real time. We found, as predicted, that the hotspot fired exactly when the animal reacted to the stimulus. But even more importantly, we found that suppressing the hotspot increased the perceptual threshold. That is, the animal became worse at perceiving the stimulus. And on the other hand, activating the hotspot artificially lowered the threshold, making the animal more sensitive to the stimulus. This leads us to the conclusion that the hotspot in the dendrites of cortical neurons is somehow crucial for perception.